unpacking idioms, understanding, set in one's ways. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, set in one's ways. This phrase is not just a collection of words but a window into human behavior and attitudes. So, let's unfold the layers of this expression and see what secrets it holds. The phrase, set in one's ways, refers to a person who is resistant to change. It describes someone who prefers routine and familiarity over new experiences or methods. Imagine a well-worn path in a forest. It's comfortable and familiar. People who are set in their ways are like travelers who prefer this known path rather than venturing into the uncharted woods. While the exact origin of set in one's ways is not crystal clear, it's believed to have roots in older English or possibly even earlier languages. The word set here is key, implying a fixed or rigid position, much like setting a bone or setting concrete. It conveys a sense of permanence and resistance to movement or change. To fully grasp any idiom, it's helpful to see it in action. Here are a few examples. 1. Despite the new technology, he is set in his ways and prefers to do things manually. 2. You can try to introduce grandma to a smartphone, but she's pretty set in her ways. 3. The company's management is set in its ways, making innovation quite challenging. Notice how the phrase can apply to individuals as well as groups, like a company's management. It's important to note that being set in one's ways isn't always negative. In some cultures, it's associated with wisdom and stability. However, in fast-paced environments, it can be seen as a hindrance to progress. Understanding the cultural context is key when interpreting this idiom. To enrich your vocabulary, here are some synonyms and variations. Inflexible, rigid, unyielding, stuck in one's ways. These can be used interchangeably depending on the context and what you wish to convey. Set in one's ways is a phrase rich in meaning reflecting deep-seated human tendencies towards comfort and familiarity. We hope this exploration helps you understand and use this idiom more confidently in your conversations. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the stories and lives they represent. Keep learning and stay curious. Until our next linguistic journey, keep exploring and expanding your horizons.